Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to explore some quick shortcuts inside of the develop module. But first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com. Please order your camera gear from them. They are a huge supporter of the Flourish Academy. They make a lot of things possible for us. Their prices are comparable and their shipping is ultra fast. This video is the second in a series focus on increasing the efficiency in your workflow. Today we're going to look at the develop module. So I'm going to press D on my keyboard in order to jump there now. And I'd like to start with solo mode. If you right click in the panels, you can make sure that solo mode is selected so that only one panel is open at a time. Otherwise, if that's not the case, then sometimes you can really get lost in all of these panels in the right hand side. I just find it's much easier to work in solo mode. That just means one panel is open at a time. Again, just right click, make sure it's selected and whatever panel you're on will expand. And if you choose another panel, that one will automatically collapse. It's very handy. Now the next tip is pretty obvious. I know that many of us use it already. It's the backslash key in order to show the overall before and after. I use this constantly to make sure that I'm headed in a good direction with my photos. But did you know that you could also turn on and off individual panels by clicking the switch on the upper left of each panel. Every panel has a switch in the upper left that you can click to turn that adjustment on or off individually so you can see what you've done with just that panel. And that can be really handy when you've made several changes to your images in several different panels. Now let's say you are playing with a particular slider and you wish to reset it to zero. You can always double click the slider or you can double click the word in order to return it to zero. And I use that feature all the time. But did you also know that in a group like the one we see here in the HSL sliders, if you double click the word saturation, it will take all of those settings back to zero, which is very convenient when making several adjustments. Let's press R on the keyboard in order to access the crop tool. Now, if you press O, while you're in the crop tool, you can cycle through the different overlays that Lightroom offers. And this feature is also very useful, but did you know that when you're in the golden spiral, for instance, if you hold down shift and press O, you can actually rotate it to different positions in your photograph. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Let's drop this tool by pressing R on the keyboard. And I'm going to jump to another photo. And let's take a look at the overlay options when using any of the adjustment tools. Now we're going to press K in order to access the adjustment brush, but this applies to the graduated and radial filters as well. So let's say for instance that I'd like to whiten her teeth in this photo. The first thing I would do is zoom in. And for the record, I personally do not feel that her teeth need to be whitened, but I needed to use a photo as an example. And when you're whitening teeth, it can be really hard to see what you're impacting. The way I like to do it is number one, make sure auto mask is turned on. That way it constrains the adjustment to inside of that area. Now my brush is pretty small. If your brush were bigger, you could press your left bracket key in order to make that brush smaller. I don't need much of a feather with this brush. The feather of your brush is controlled by holding down shift, pressing the right bracket key to give it a softer edge, or shift in the left bracket key to give it a harder edge. And you should note that the concentric circles change at the same time. What I like to do is press O on my keyboard when I am making this adjustment so that I can see my selected mask overlay. And when you do that and you brush over an area, you can see this ruby light color that we've always had since Photoshop. But did you know that while you have this overlay on, you could press shift O a couple of times to cycle through different overlay options. Maybe you're impacting something that's red, for instance, and the red overlay doesn't work. You could press shift O and choose this green overlay. There's also a white overlay and a black or gray overlay, and then back to the red. 
You can press O to turn this overlay off and notice that I have those sliders up a ridiculous amount on her teeth. I don't think her teeth need to be whitened anyway, but that was just for the sake of example. I'm going to press K in order to drop that tool. And the last tip I'd like to share with you is that if you like presets inside of Lightroom and you have several presets that are your favorites and they are in different folders, you can certainly organize them into one set yourself. But a quick way to do that is to expand the presets and then right click on the preset and say add to favorites. And let's say I'm just going to choose a couple of these Susie's favorites that I like to use. I'm going to add those to favorites. Now at the top of your preset panel, you'll see those two presets there. It just makes it a little bit easier to select your favorites, having them in one location. If you have a favorite trick in the develop module that you'd like to share, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.